Hey, welcome back to the print house, guys. Welcome to all the new people. Welcome back to all the old people. Today I'm doing a little showcase video on my uh, my CO2 50 watt blue white China laser, and um, love this machine. I'm going almost on five years with this machine, not one single problem. The original tube from delivery day, guys. I'm not this no BS. You treat these like keep uh, right, keep them clean, change your water, and just keep maintenance going. Um, it'll last. You know, and, and if, the, if the tube does go, it's, it's not that much money, a couple hundred bucks less, less than that. And I have a local supplier, so I don't have to have it shipped, which I, that's the part I worry about. Anyways, if you're in the market for a laser, especially a CO2, not those diode lasers, those diode lasers are just going to, they're, they're more hobbyists. You're not going to do any real stuff on it. Um, yeah, you can do things, but it's just, it's not, it's not the way you want to go if you're going to actually try to make money. Um, Plus, they create a lot of smoke and everything else. You can't run them in the house. You need to get a garage. That's about it. Anyways, so like I said, almost five years on this machine. Um, I'll talk about it real quick. I don't want to make this real long, but so this is the way it comes. This is the exact way it comes. Uh, the only modifications ma modifications I have done, I've added a milliamp uh, amp meter because it doesn't come with one. And I added these Sloan commercial grade Sloan LED lights to the back and the front. Um, I'm not using the light that came with it anymore because when that bulb went, it's a real odd, real odd size. So, go ahead and I'll turn it on. It's got a color display, Rita controller, that's how you pronounce it. Okay. What I like about it is it uses proximity sensors. These orange boxes here, those are proximity sensors for your endpoints, right? It's out of the way. Also, what it what it uses is commercial grade, like a rail carriage's slides. That's what these use. This thing is very sturdy. I mean, you could turn this into a CNC table if you wanted. Um, I've never had adjusted mirrors. I have one little adjustment on this one here. That was it. Right out of the box from delivery, I was cutting. There was no problem. I always try to keep the mirrors clean. Um, I don't use chemicals on them. And they've been running ever since. The same mirrors, same two, almost five years. Um, I like what I like about this one is what I wanted was I wanted the uh, electric height adjustment. So you got these buttons. That I don't want. I just set it now for a job, but you got these height buttons that are, with a motor that'll bring the, the table up and down. The old ones had a crank, but what I do is I like to cut stuff, and then on the fly I like to raise and lower it because I can get a blur effect on some of the stuff. It's kind of cool to do. And then when I cut foam, I can get my good depth on that because the, the thicker you go, you you, know, you want to bring your head in. So. Um, other than that, this is the way it comes. Um, I just run a simple little box for my water. Basically, I just change it every once in a while. Um, I run maybe about five hours a week on this total. It's not a whole lot, but it may seem a lot. When you're actually cutting, I'm more cutting than I am engraving. And um, I love this machine. I got it from eBay. It's been uh, over four years, almost five, like I said. Um, I can't really include a link to the actual one in the seller, but I did look for a seller that was already had these in us so you don't have to worry about duty fees and import charges and stuff like that because it can get kind of pricey so i looked for a seller that had it already now what i like about these machines is you, you get that ruida controller if that's even how you pronounce it you can then you can install purchase and install light burn software um this guy created the software i'm not sure how long ago it is a couple years maybe longer i'm not sure but he did a great job on it it runs very fluent never crashes on me i bought it uh, get the updates it's worth it it's very cheap and he always updates and adds new features it's great you can even design it i don't but um you can if you need to and i use corel so um, that's about it for that so the light burn runs really well in here and um, i really like it so um i just run corel with the same color palettes and stuff like that so um but other than that guys this machine is great if you have the money to spend by all means buy it you know uh, American made one if it's if it's even all 100% American made but you're gonna spend a big bucks and if you're not doing high precision high speed engraving you're not gonna really know the difference because that is gonna be the difference between these expensive machines that are made in the US is you're gonna get high speed accuracy like this can go fast too when you're engraving but those machines don't compare they're really fast and accurate when they're when they're engraving real intricate designs. Um, you could do good, great designs on this, no doubt, like I said, you're just not gonna get that same speed and accuracy. But, you know, for everyday stuff, you wanna make money, this machine's great, there's no doubt about it. If you need to get in, you're looking to get into it without spending too much money, these are the machines to do. So, um, 
don't be uh don't be discouraged because it's a chinese made 50 watt machine you know <laughs> they're very they're workhorses and like i said it's five years now same tube lenses um right off the truck i was cutting you know the second day after i got my actually was in the, the garage the night of because i didn't have to have exhaust yet because i just opened the garage door now i'm in the basement you gotta have, you gotta run exhaust i got two runs all the way to my window downstairs my shop i'm in the shop today so that's pretty much it guys i just want to do a showcase i got a lot of questions and uh on the other video that i posted about it because um, i do like a lot of these led signs i do a lot of those and i and i do a lot of uh foam cutting so um this machine for me has been flawless and i've made my money back thousands of times over it's ridiculous um i had contemplating getting another one uh bigger not not another one of this size but a bigger one um but i don't think i'm gonna be able to get it up to get it down the stairs i got the latex down but that was you know that was a task but these machines are more square and boxy so i don't know if it'd make it through the doorway angle down the stairs but hey i might do some measurements and try because i really like to get a larger bed on here um the 12 by 20 is not bad at all i mean everything i do i've never had a problem I, I cut a lot of these uh, acrylic, cast acrylic pieces, and you can see I've got tons down here. You only want to cut cast, you only want to engrave or cut cast acrylic, never extruded. You, if you, unless you're just doing something special, extruded can work. But when you cut extruded, it um, it kind of like melts the plastic, it doesn't frost it. Whereas if you use cast, it, it does, it frosts it. It, it, it doesn't really melt it, it just... It, it does a nice frost edge burn on on the plastic and when you do edge slit signs you don't you're barely barely burning the plastic on the edge you don't want to go deep at all um, the deeper you go that that'll block the light from lower above um, I cut a lot of wood too um, but other than that my main focus I cut a lot of foam I do things like these foam so but that's about it. I just wanted to showcase the 50-watt uh, China blue and white laser. There's nothing wrong with these machines for the budget, the price. They work good. And like I said, they're 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 built like a tank. You know, these rail carriage slides, if you're familiar with in the CNC world, you know that's, you know, great equipment to use. This It's probably over-engineered for a laser, you know, but having these rail carriage slides like this, that's pretty amazing. They look like 10 or 15 millimeter. I don't know what they are exactly, but that's great and then you have you know the, the electric bed adjustment you got all these doors you can open and access panels but the Rita controller is what you really want so you can use light burn that's very important so but uh, hey thanks for watching like subscribe hit that notification and um, again welcome all the new people and the old and um, hope this video helps I'll try to put a link to this to the style that I have but not from the actual buyer so thanks for watching guys bye bye